my lizard cast again in this video art tutorial we're going to be making this awesome lizard so grab your choice of mark and making mark making mediums and let's make some art this episode is brought to you by artastickids.com if you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. All right, so we're gonna begin our lizard. And we're gonna start the head on the right side of the page and have the body move towards the left. So we're gonna begin with the mouth and we're gonna draw a nice line that curves up, down, and just curves over at the back. We're gonna draw a wider U shape. And we're making this side a bit more narrow and shorter because we're gonna to try to make the illusion that's a little bit farther away. This side is closer to the viewer. So we're making this smaller and making this larger to create that, that feeling or that vibe. All right, let's add some lips. So we're just gonna add just a couple fine lines above and below. And then we can add some nostrils just by drawing some circles. And I like to leave a little white in there for some added detail. All right, we're gonna go just above this first nostril. We're gonna go up and over to make an eye socket on one side and up and over on the other. Again, leaving it a little bit smaller for the other side of the body. In each one, we're gonna draw a circle, making the one closer to the viewer on the left a little bit bigger. In each circle, we're gonna draw one big circle and one small circle for the shine of light. And then we're gonna color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those circles nice and white. For a little added detail, I like to just add a couple fine lines around the eyes for the eyelids and such. Just adds a nice little touch there. And then we can go ahead and draw the head. So we're gonna start off with one curvy line over the left side, and then we're gonna dip down between the eyes and then do a smaller hump above the other side. Out for a cheek, down for a chin. Okay, and then on this side, a little bit bigger. Again, it's closer to the viewer. Okay, we'll add our back. Just a little short curving line coming down. Off our lizard. And then we can add a curve for a tail. And then we're gonna start out the back. We're gonna do a nice line. Again, we're gonna keep it nice and narrow for a moment. We're gonna curve it around. I'm gonna connect. Bring it forward. Now I know it looks like it's gotten really skinny there, but what I'm gonna do is because it's facing a different direction, we're gonna have a nice little curve line on the inside for where the shape of the tail turns.
let's give our lizard some legs. So we're gonna do two little cute legs in the front with some U shapes. And then we're gonna do a letter, a backwards letter C in the back for the back thigh. And then we'll do a longer one in the front, longer U shape. And connect, and I know I have no toes, but we're making it a little bit of a kawaii style. So we're giving it some extra cuteness. Then we're gonna connect a line across to create the rest of the body. I'm just gonna add one little U shape in the back, nice and small for the leg in the back there. And to give it a setting, we're just gonna draw a little wavy line to make some sort of sand areas. Mine's a little desert lizard. You can even add things like little pebbles, whatever you would like. You can make this world the way you would like it. Maybe off in the distance, we have some cactus or cacti hanging out, so they're far away, so I'm gonna draw them nice and small so they appear to be quite far instead of close. And that way they're not taking away from the, the, the lizard either. We don't want it to distract. There we go. Now they're nice and far away. We got our lizard as a focal point. And then to finish it off, we're gonna give our lizard a tongue in the mouth, so we're just gonna draw a curving line there. And then you go ahead and color in the dark of the mouth, leaving your tongue white. Just like that. Now you can go ahead and add any other special details you would like to your lizard. So if you want things like spots, or if you want stripes, you can add whatever choice details you would like. It's your lizard and you get the power to add the details that make you happy. You have your own artwork. That's the cool thing about art, is that we get to each make a world or a design that didn't quite exist before until you decided to make it. And that's what's special. Just go ahead and do it, and if you don't, you know, maybe you try something new on this one, and if you decide you didn't quite like it, that's the cool thing. Another another cool thing about her is you can try it again, make it different the next time. Don't we need to worry about mistakes? We embrace them and learn from them. All right, and once you're done, you can go ahead and color in your lovely lizard artwork.
once you're done, your lovely lizard is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.